evening dear ladies, let's bless the Zad Hashem that we will all have a spirit of great Mashiach to come back to me with the Rabbi Amen Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Eliyahu Tishbe Eliyahu Agiladi Bimarat Mashiach Tabi Liyahu Nusafu Lato. And may we all have the spirit of the Zad Hashem to see the building of Beit Amidash Hashem with the Rabbi Amen Amen. Ki ayin bai nuru mishubad naitzion. Atat akum terachem tzion ki et lecha nina ki ba moel. Hashivenu Adonai lecha vanashub atesh amen ki ogenen. And we will all have the school to go to Eretz Yisrael, the wings of the eagle, and we will all have part in Eretz Yisrael, Bezat Hashem. And the Siyad HaDishmaya, B'Shem HaShem Naseh Menatsliach, Eno Ben-Bada HaShem, S'chatai Tukat Fiedi Kilatech, and everything that we're doing is B'Shem Kol Yisrael, Bezat Hashem. This Shabbat is Shabbat Mevachim, Rosh Chodesh Nisan, next Tuesday, Monday night. We're going to meet here Monday night. And when we meet here Monday night, Bezat Hashem, we need her. We're going to do uh, all of the customs of the month of Nisan, you know, before Pesach, and Bezrat Hashem, we neither, also all of the laws and customs of the Pesach. So please come on time so we will have time to do it, because our very home, Bezrat Hashem. So this is Shabbat, and also this is Shabbat, Parashat HaKodesh. We read from Parashat Bo about the month of Nisan that Hashem states that the month of Nisan by the Torah is the first month of the year in order that we, every time that we think about Nisan, we remember the miracle that Hashem did, the miracles, and the big miracle that Hashem took out of Egypt the children of Israel and made them His people, Bezrat Hashem, by receiving the Torah on Mount Sinai and gave us the land of Israel that He promised to Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. So it's a big thing, the month of Nisan. So, this parasha is Parashat Shmini, tomorrow we'll have on Zoom Bezrat Hashem and from Kumash Vayikra and this is Shabbat HaKodesh and Shabbat Mevarchim Rosh Kodesh Nisan So, uh, I'm going to do it by Nei Sakhar Today, by Nei Sakhar, we're going to do a few more things by Kisera Hamim and other books but I would like to go to Nei Sakhar and it says a beautiful thing Why does the man in Hebrew is called Kodesh? Because you remember that we're always, every, before Rosh Chodesh, Kergelenu Bakodesh, I give you the right combination of the name of Hashem for that month. Okay? Every Chodesh. Okay? And it's the combination from the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Bab Kei. Nachon? Yud Kei Bab Kei, which the numerical value is 26. Yud is 10, the letter He is 5, the letter Bab is 6, another letter He is 5, together it's 26. Okay, 26 multiplied, because our 12 combination parallel to the 12 months of the year, the 12 constellations, the 12 tribes, multiplied by 12, how much is it here, ladies? It's 312. It's 312. 26 multiplied by 12. What is 312? 300 is Shin. This is 300. At 10, okay. 10 is Yod, and 2 is Bed. The Shin Yod Bed. This is exactly the numerical value of Kodesh. Month in Hebrew. Look how beautiful it is. Chet is 8, Daled is 4, and Shin is Shlosh Mot, 300. It's 312. This is the word for the Shinyute. So this is the original, this is where it comes from, because that wealth combination of the name of Ashir that are divided by the months, but for the month for the month of Nisan, it's just like it's written in, in the Sidu, Yud Kei Bab Kei, and in the Torah, Yud Kei Bab Kei. It's the Yashar. So why, and it comes from Tehillim chapter 96, okay, verse 11, this is going to happen on Mashiach this year. which means that the heavens will rejoice and the earth will be happy. the initial letters of each word, That's the combination of the month of Nisan. Why? Because when Nisan, Nigalu, our sages say that we were redeemed in the month of Nisan, and in the month of Nisan we're going to be redeemed again. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Nisan is uh, Nisan equals look. 
ניסן equals ניסים. נון is 50, יו is 10, סמך is 16, another נון is 50, together it's 170. ניסים מיריקלס, אוקיי? נון is 50, יו is 10, סמך is 60, יו is 10, and נם is 40, together it's 170. So Nisan is miracles above nature. Hashem meshaded et marochot ha-teva, above nature. So why did Hashem say, look how beautiful it is? It says, I'm going back to Parashat Bos, because two books of Torah are going to go out of, of, uh, of the Heichal, okay? One for the Parashat Shmini, for the portion of Shmini, for Mash Veika, and the other one will be for Parashat HaKodesh, which means Chumash Mot Parashat Bo. Vayomer Hashem el Moshe, it's chapter 12, Chumash Mot Parashat Bo, chapter 12, verse 1. Vayomer Hashem el Moshe ve'el Aaron, ve'eretz Mitzrayim le'mos. Hashem tells Moshe and Aaron in the land of Mitzrayim. Ha'chodesh haze lachem. Rosh chodashim rishonu lachem lechodshe ha'shana. This, this month. will be for you the head of the months. It will be the first month for all of the months of the year. Rashi says a, one, says a beautiful thing. He says, Haze, why did he say Haze this month? Moshe al molad alevana be'eze shiur t'ra'e be'tiyeh ruya l'kadesh. So it says that Moshe Rabbeinu, he didn't understand how, how we Now we are supposed to sanctify the moon. On which size of the moon do we sanctify? So, Be'alo Be'etzba, Hashem showed, God showed Moshe Rabbeinu with a finger, Be'alo Be'etzba, Eta Levana, Barakia, He showed him the Levana, the moon in the sky, Be'amar lo, Kaze Re'e Be'kadesh, just like this. Look and sanctify. What? What was the problem of Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu, it was a, a problem for to understand why do we need to say, uh, what uh, size should be the moon in order to sanctify it? Moshe Rabbeinu thought the, the sun is always circle, always full. And, and the Goyim, the non-Jewish people, go by the sun. We go by the moon. Hashem told us to go by the moon. Why? Because ma- the moon is parallel to Malkut. to kingship, okay? And at the, at the beginning, so uh, when we sanctify the month, the moon becomes very small. Then a little by little, until the middle of the month, until the 15th, it, it, you see more and more of the moon, and then after the 15th, again, it becomes small and small until it becomes dark. Hashem wanted to tell Moshe Rabbein, this is by the Midrash, that Are you sanctifying this in order to give all of the children of Israel how, what, kazeh kadesh, just like this sanctify, which means to give us a way of worshiping Hashem. What is the way of worshiping Hashem? That even if we went far away, we don't remember our Judaism. We don't remember anything. We went against everything. So the link between us and Hashem is this small, you know, when we sanctify the moon. This small, still Hashem says, you can go step after step and come closer and closer and closer to it. Just like when we sanctify the moon, Hashem opens for us, the Siyat HaDishmaya, a way of repenting, of doing tshuva, which means that nothing stands in front of tshuva, nothing. And who, is, who stands for us and, and davens for us It's all of our sages and all of the tzaddikim and tzaddikot that went out of the world, our forefathers, our foremothers, our grandparents, everybody that is not here, they are, they are davening for us. Because if they won't, wouldn't daven for us, we wouldn't have any chance in this world. All the ones that are outside that, that see the truth, we are still here in this world and we get excited and emotional from everything that we see. And, and, and it it's really is emotional. And we get confused from everything that we see. But you see how Hashem is sifting humanity, Mamash sifting humanity. Either you want to search for the truth, 
Let's say you don't know the truth, but you want to search in order to come close to Hashem. Because the first step of repenting, even if you're a Jewish people, a Jewish person, or not a Jewish uh, one of the nations, the first step to come close to God is searching for the truth. Because Hashem is the truth. Bereshit bara Elohim, in the beginning Hashem created heaven and earth, which means why does a person come to this world? To connect heaven and earth. That's why we came to this world, to connect heaven and earth, to see the truth beyond the falseness. So we see what's going on today, Baruch Hashem, and in order to be in the right path, Hashem says, okay, even if you went far away from me, and you, 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 don't, you don't have a clue what's going on, search for the truth, come closer to me, just like the moon is filled. But from the moment that we sanctify it, we, the moon is filled. Why do we sanctify it on Shabbat? We sanctify the moon on Shabbat because on Shabbat all of the 12 combinations of the name of Hashem appear upon us. That's why we sanctify it. You see the rabbi announces when is Rosh Chodesh exactly because all of the 12 combinations of the name of Hashem is above us on Shabbat. That's why we take Kos Yai, okay, we take it. So we said it's 12 combinations. So we take kos yain, we take kos, a cup of wine, the yain. Okay, kos, half is 20, bab is 6, samach is 8, is uh, 60. Together it's 86. Okay? Then yain, yud is 10, another yud is 10, and nun is 50, together it's 70. How much is it together? 156. 156, this is, Mamash, we do it in order to show that we know that the, uh, the name of Hashem is upon us. 156 is six times the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Bav Kei. This is one, that's why we do one of the reasons, Kosia in Kiddush, we do the Kiddush. And then we take Lechem Mishneh, two breads, Nachon, we have Lechem, Lechem, and another Lechem. Two breads, Nachon Lechem Mishne, Lechem, Lamed is 30, Chet is 8, Mem is 40, it's 78. 78 plus 78 is 156, which means it's another six times the, uh, six times the name of Hashem Yudke Bavke. Six plus six, the name of a 12 combination of the name of Hashem, Shim Yud Bet. By doing this, we awakening the name of Hashem upon us, all of the combinations, with a cup of wine and also with the chamishne, the two chalot that we have. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Then on Shabbat, everybody eats an egg. Arizal says it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody eats an egg. Why do we eat an egg? Oh, so it says in a joke, Rabbi, in a joke, Rabbi say, if you don't eat an egg on Shabbat, we have to ask if you are Jewish. Why? Wow. We eat it by chamin, by the chulent, by the jachnun, everybody has an egg. Why? Because an egg is beitza in, in Hebrew. And the initials of beitza is yud is 10, bet is 2, together it's 12. Okay, so it's yud bet, tserufei Hashem. The 12 combinations wow. of the name of Hashem. Mamash, we are doing, we must the awakening, all of the, that all of the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence will come to our home, but we will be Mikdash Me'ar Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is in the month of Nisan. So we see all of this is awakening, and we know that the month of Nisan is in the, in the springtime, and spring in Hebrew is Aviv. Aviv. Aviv is Av, the father of Yud Bet Chodashim. Spring in Hebrew, the father of the 12 months because it's the head of the months. That's why the Egyptians were worshipping the, the uh, Arius, were worshipping Kaleh, the sheep. Right. What? Right. Uh, right. It's a sheep. Why did they worship it? Because it's a, a, a constellation of the month of Nisan. They knew this is the head of the month, is Arius. So because of this, they worshipped it because they thought by this, they will be the head of all nations. This is uh, astrology. <laughs> but look how beautiful Al-Zema Omer, 
רבי, רבי צבי אלימלך מבין, הוא עושה איזה פינג אבאוט דיס. So he says, אוקיי, okay, החודש הזה לכם, שהדבר מסור בידינו לשנות העתים על פי הליכותינו בתורה ובעבודה, ויכולים אנחנו לשנות הצירופים מדין לרחמים. Which means, נכון, there are different combinations of the name of the shaman. On the month of Tammuz, בכל זה איננו שווה לי. It's from the end of the name of Hashem Yudke Vavkei to the beginning, which is all judgment. But he, as he says over here that we can change it, the children of Israel from judgment to mercy. By our action of kindness, by, by our Torah studies, by the way we handle ourselves, by the way we find the merit of the children of Israel, by the way that we remember who we are in this world and why did we come to this world. By this we change the combinations from the judgment to mercy. Or chas v'shalom, the wicked do exactly the opposite. They change the mercy into shalom eda, to judgment. And every Rosh Chodesh, when we, when we have the, this, next week it's one day of Rosh Chodesh, it's only Tuesday, v'siyat adishmaya. And when we say Musaf of Rosh Chodesh, When we come to Musaf of Rosh Chodesh, in the middle of Tunat Shmona Yisrael, we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mekadesh Yisrael, Berashay Chodeshim, Blessed are you Hashem, that sanctifies the, uh, the children of Israel on the first days of the month, when we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Blessed are you Hashem, we just visualize the right combination of the name of Hashem for that month, and by this we open up channels of, of, um, of the abundance of blessings towards the whole world. ממש to work, not only to us, our children and the children and the Jewish people, but for the whole world. By ממש, just concentrating. We don't need to understand kabanot, to, to know how to do kabanot. In a simple, תמיד תהיה עם השם אלוקיך. You should be wholehearted with Hashem your God, which means do it simply, and Hashem knows all the kabanot. You just leave it to Hashem. You just be simple. You know, the simplest person can be the highest, has, can have the highest spiritual place in heaven, even more than a rabbi. So we need to, be, to cleanse ourselves. Um, our mouth and our heart should be even. This is working on ourselves, over our midot. So the Bnei Sechar says in Ma'amarei, for Rosh Chodesh Adar, at that time, because Egypt had concluded all of the exiles, all of the, the four exiles that are going to be after that which is the exiles of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, which is Iraq, the exile of Parasu Madai, which just went, uh, finished Purim, the exile of Greece, and Hanukkah, and the exile of Edom, which we are still in this exile. And Ishmael is not an exile. Ishmael is a jumping step for Mashiach to be revealed in the world. What you see with Ishmael, Baal kol pnei echav nafal, they are going to fall. And immediately it will be, ve'ele todot Yitzchak ben Abraham. Immediately, this is what, and there will be peace all over the world. What you see over here, that you, you see that the evil inclination is taking all of the, its soldiers out. Why? Because the evil inclination, Yetzirah also knows, Beshachat la it's the end. So th this is a war. At the, at, at the end of the war, you see everybody's taking out all, all of their soldiers. We just need to cling to each other and, and to encourage each other Be'ezrat Hashem. And you know, the secret is in the word Paras. Paras, which is Iran of today. And so Paras, and you see it, Mamash, and this years ago Hashem gave me to give you, because the pay of Paras is, the, is Iran. This is Paras of today. The race is Russia, Russia, and the son of his in China. Wow. The Russia is the letters of Surya, the same letters. So you see everything, everything is like Hashem wants, but everybody can still do tshuva, everybody can repent. We are, we are just, we, we, are, we all can besiyata dishmaya, do the will of Hashem with a happy heart and love each other. That, that's why we came to the world. So it says over here, so it says, Uh, it's written in Pachash, oh, and he continues, and he says, Bnei Sachar, Rabbi Yitzvi Elimelech Medido, it's written in Parashat Pinchas, chapter 28, Pasuk Yudaled, Zot Olat Chodesh Vechodshu. 
So this is the offering that we give every month. So there are two um, leaderships, that, which means there's Hashem that leads the world into It's not it's a leadership. The Hashem, Hashem rules the world in two ways. Okay, one is hidden, is a teva, is the nature. Hateva begimatriya, two courses. One hateva, hateva equals elokim. I write it with a kuf, but it's a hey, equals elokim, which means God is concealed in nature. It looks like nature, there's no nature. Truly, there's only God. But if we see, if we would have seen the holiness in everything, we'll see, then we wouldn't have freedom of choice. Hashem wants us to choose to follow His way. Okay? The other one is Yudke Babke, is above nature. And it depends on us, the way we behave, the way we study the Torah. You know, we can go to the shul, but when we go out of the shul, we'll still, you know, cheat each other in business and do things to succeed and then the continued slandering. And we really didn't learn anything. Nothing. Nothing. Because if I come to the shul and I go out of the shul and I continue to be the same person, I came to a Torah lesson, and I continue to be the same person and I didn't work on myself, I didn't do anything. Why? Because the mitzvah goes immediately to the evil inclination. This is how, there's no evil inclination. It, uh, there, there's no livelihood to the evil, only because of us. It, the livelihood comes from our mitzvot. If we fall with a sin, they, they take our mitzvot. There's no impurity unless there's purity. So they, the livelihood comes from our deeds. So always, Bezrat Hashem, when you do mitzvah, say after that, Alta Boeni Regel Gaba. Okay, that we won't fall with our pride after the mitzvah. Everything that you do, remember Hashem with you, because when you remember, you humble yourself. Okay, and you surrender to Hashem by humbling. Because the three steps for a person to come to a true fear of Hashem, which means you practice it. Not that you say you have the fear of Hashem and then you gossip about this, you lie about this, you, you cheat this, you do this. This is not really believing in Hashem because this is forgetting that there's an eye that sees and, and a hand that writes everything and all the actions uh, are written in a book. Okay? So, Besiada Dishma, in order you have to practice it, mamash, on ourselves to work on it. This is 24 7. That's why Rabbi Elimelech Munizent says, that it can take us 70 years for a person just to change one character trait. On this says Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Tzvi Elimelech Medin of Bnei Sachar on the, uh, on the articles of the month of Adar, he says over there that in Egypt, the exile was the exile of knowing that Hashem is also concealed in nature. That it's not the, 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 the 12 constellations and the and all of the planets that rule the world. It's Hashem. These are the servants of Hashem. But they saw the magic, black magic that the Egyptians did and they thought that the, something real is in it, but there wasn't anything real in it. But when they saw that Hashem, she did ma'arachot teva, that he did everything against nature, mamash, that all nature was bowing to Hashem with all of the 10 plagues, nothing touched the children of Israel. Even the borders of Egypt they had quarrels with Kush. By the plagues that Egypt have, Kush knew where the borders are. Can you imagine? They knew where the borders are because it didn't go to their borders. You know, you see in the, in the, in the prophet Yonah, when he went to the ship in order not to go, he sailed to the ocean. He said, okay, now the divine presence cannot speak to me. I, I, I don't want to go to tell Nineveh to, to do tshuva. Because he knew that they will repent, but he knew that in the future they will hurt the children of Israel. So he didn't want to go to them. So he went to the ocean. It was astonishing because the whole ocean was quiet. Only around the ship there was a storm that, uh, that threatened to break the ship. But the, all, all the, around it, everything was quiet. It was only the, the, around that ship. Can you imagine? So this is to show, this is... For this, you see, that's why they all did tshuva. They all went and, and converted. 
but they, they went after the they went after the fish that swallowed <laughs> you know because they, they were astonished they dove into all of their gods nobody helped and then they saw what happened every time they took Yonah into the ocean the ocean became quiet they put him up the ocean again was uh, so they said this uh, it's unbelievable and then they saw that the, the fish took him out and he was a whole person so Hashem meshaded ma'arachot ha'teva so this is miracles above nature the miracle of Purim is inside nature and the miracle of, of Nisan of the month of Exodus that we went out of Egypt it's all about nature so these are two um, handling that Hashem handles the world. The one that is concealed, mazet teva, teva milshon litboa, to drown. So we are, and we are not allowed to drown into nature and to think that everything works well after Hashem decided, uh, after Hashem uh, created the world, now everything goes by its own. No, chas shalom, chas shalom. We are also part of Hashem. I can't move my hands or speak or move without Hashem. My livelihood is from Hashem, each and every one of us. Can you imagine to go and, and rebel against God that gave us the soul? As a human being, animals cannot rebel. They know who's the master of the world. But it's us, we got the freedom of choice. We get so uh, confused that we don't know where we're going to. And you can see it all over the world now. Unbelievable what's happening. Animals know who is uh, the, the uh, leader of the world, who created the world. They don't have question. It's us. Well, and we are supposed to be intelligent. <laughs> so let's see Bezrat Hashem. It's written. Can I wipe the board? Okay, take a picture. And then I want to show you Bezrat Hashem. Bezrat Hashem is and then I want to show you. So it says, So we went out of Egypt on the month of Nisan. And Hashem says, just like we went out of Egypt, the last exile will be just like uh, the, uh, the, uh, the exodus out of Egypt. So look, look how beautiful it is. Omer al Od Yosef Chai, a Benish Chai says a beautiful thing about it. Why did Paro, uh, his, his heart, why did the heart of Paro became so, uh, uh, so hard? After he, Hashem gave him the, uh, the plagues, uh, the first one, the second one, the third one, what's happening here? And he continues to be very tough because it wasn't only Paro. Paro in him had also the shell of Esau. It, it included all of the exiles that we're going to have. Why? Because Paro, Okay, I'm writing in the Miluyo Tiot with all of the letters. I'm looking at the page. This is page, okay? Now the Reish, Reish Yud Shin, the Ayn, Ayn Yud Nun, and this is the Hey, Hey Aleph. I'm taking out the word Pharaoh, okay? And now let's see what we have left. Look how beautiful our Torah is unbelievable. The Hey is five, okay? Then we have Shin is 300, Yud is 10, it's 310. Then Yud is 10, Nun is 50, it's 60. And, the, and Aleph is 1, okay? It's 310 plus 60, how much is it? 370. Plus, uh, um, plus 5 and plus 1, how much is it? 376. 376, this is a sub. This is the shell of a sub that Ko'o had in it. I'm is 30. Hey, I'm 70, it's 70, she is 300, Bob is 6, 376. That's why he became it, because he had already a sub inside him, the shell of a sub inside him. That's why the prophet says, the, the prophet behind the Torah says, he made said, come and inside, just like I took you out of Egypt, because Pharaoh included a sub in him. We are in the exile of a dome of a sub. So he says, Meretz Mitzayim arenu niflaot. Look, nun plaot. Above nature, Hashem is going to take us out of this angel. It will be miracles that everybody will be astonished. That it will be akedekach. It's a big thing. So, Pharaoh is pe, is divided two things. 
it's divided to k. Let's see what this. This is you see mouth and a bad mouth, oh, evil mouth. What do we have in the month of Nisan? Pesach. Nachon. What's a Pesach? Pe has a hidden hay, and then we have Sach. It's a good mouth. Because we the Agada, we, 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 we mention all of the miracles that Hashem just paralleled. This is what we see. Goodness and uh, fighting evil. And this is from the beginning until Mashiach will be revealed as Hashem. But this is Mamash, the goodness fighting against evil. Lachen ishet paro pera, evil mouth. And yeshet pesach, shze pesach, sach bezrat haki. Ma ze sach? Samech is 60, chet is 8, together it's 68, it's chayim. Bebacharta bachayim. You should choose life. Choosing life, Hashem says, I brought in front of you good and life, and you have a, a evil and, and a curse. You choose life. How, it, how do we choose our life? We follow the way of Hashem. So we'll see. So Nisan, Nisan is 170, which is 2 times 85. Te. Pamayim te. In order to fix what we did, what the first human being did, Adam, that he, he said to Hashem, he wasn't grateful to, when he spoke to Hashem about the wife that he gave him, and, the seven, and, and he ate from the tree of knowledge. Zepeh, pamayim, 85 multiplied by 2 is Nisan, 170. Pei pe is 80, hey is 5. 85, this is Nisan. And the sun is 170, which is the Da'at of Hashem, knowing Hashem. Because what is 17? 17 is good. Minyan Tov, okay, Tov. Tet is 9, Bab is 6, Bet is 2, it's 17. 17 multiplied by 10, the Kedusha. Okay, everything that is holy is by 10. We have Minyan by 10. Okay, what is Tov? is Bereshit Bara Elohim et HaShamayim ve'et HaAretz. In the beginning, Hashem, I'm wiping the board. In the beginning, Hashem created heaven and earth. Okay? Et HaShamayim, et HaShamayim ve'et HaAretz. This is Da'at et HaShem, knowing HaShem. The initials is the name of HaShem, of knowing HaShem. And this Et HaShamayim, heaven and earth, Et, Aleph is one in numerical value, He is five, Bab is six, another He is five, how much is it? Seventeen. The numerical value of two. So Nisan is ten times seventeen, which means the Da de Kedusha. Who is called Tov? Moshe Rabbeinu. When Moshe Rabbeinu was born, look how beautiful it is. His mother says, Vataro Toki Tov. She saw that he's good. Who is good? Moshe Rabbeinu. Who is good? Our Torah. Because it says, Mishlei says, this is Moshe Rabbeinu. And Mishlei says, uh, Solomon says, uh, chapter 4, verse 2, Ki lekach tov natati lachem, torati al ta'azohu. I gave you a, a, a good Torah. Don't leave my Torah. I gave you a good thing in order that you will be holy. Follow my way. So this is the Torah is called Tov. Moshe Rabbeinu is called Tov, which is good in Hebrew, okay? And we go to Malachi, the end of Treasar, and he says over there, Zichru Torah Moshe Abdi. Remember the Torah of Moshe, my servant. And if we don't remember it, then we get the month of Tammuz. What happened on the month of Tammuz? The tablets were broken. Look how beautiful our Torah is. It's Rashi. And what do we see? Omer Yaakov Avinu. Bemakli avarti tayarden. Parashat ba'ishlach. Yaakov Avinu now, he runs from Laban, and the Sav is in front of him with, with 40 legions, and he wants to fight him. And he tells Hashem, katonti mikol chasadim. I'm humbling myself. I don't know. You made me miracles all the time. And maybe I don't have any schut and any merit anymore. 
And I went, and you remember that I gave everything Eliphaz, he gave him everything. I just passed the Jordan River with my stick. Why does he say with my stick? What is it? Look how beautiful it is. As we have stick, okay? okay? I'm going to wipe the board. Did you do the picture? Okay, so I'm going to wipe the board. Do the picture. Okay. okay, so look. So, it's all Torah, beautiful thing. So, Mazemakel. So, let's see. This is Nisan, and this is Makel. Mem is 40, Kuf is 100, and Lamed is 30. How much is it? 170. Just like Nisan. Why Nisan hasn't it all of the. All of the has, has it. Has the Makel, the numerical value of Nisan, equals to Makel to a state? Because Makel is the end letters of Abraham, Yitzchak, Bey Israel. This is Makel. You see, the end letters of our forefathers, Yaakov, Yitzchak is, is a higher name of Yaakov Abinu. So we have the Mem, the Kuf, and the Lamed. So he went and he passed the Jordan River and he went to Laban with the merit of our three forefathers. Abraham, Yitzchak, and Israel. Isn't that beautiful? I, I, I don't know what to say. I think it's beautiful. And who will help us at the end of days? Rachel Mevakal, Banea, Yirmiyahu, the prophet said that Rachel is but is davening and crying for her children. This will be the head of the month. So we see this month, Lachem, to you, will be head of the month, okay? I'm taking the initials. Lachem starts with the Lamed, Rosh with the Aresh, and Chodashim with the Chet. Rachem. Rachel Mevakal Banea. You see Rachel? Rachel Mevakal Banea. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I won't go into it. And you see over here, Hazeh, Hazeh 17. We already learned about this. Maze Lachem, Lachem is Melech, that you will be kings. Moach Shalit Alalev. Lachem is the letters of Melech, that our Neshama that is in our mind will control, okay, will be the boss of the Ruach, the lower part of the Neshama that is in our in our hearts, because in our hearts we are impressed. In our hearts we feel, you know, regushim, beregesh, the um, emotions. And this is what causes us to do things or to say things sometimes. But we have to think also rationally what's going on, to search for the truth. And the nefesh is in the blood, in, in the liver, so that we should be a king, because Nisan is the head of all of all of the months. So this is the king of the months. <laughs> and then we see over here, who? Rishon who? And why did uh, we, we have the word who? Because on this sun, we are going to be redeemed. We were redeemed and we are going to be redeemed. Kiyasa, it's written at the end of Parsha Beshalach, and with the war of Amalek, it's written, Kiyad al Kesia milchamal Hashem idol do. Because uh, um, until Al Amalek is eliminated, there's a war against them from generation to generations because they they exchange the Dalet to Reish and the Reish to Dalet. We had lessons for it. So the chair of Hashem is missing the Aleph, and the name of Hashem is missing the the He and the letter Vav. This is what we see. Rishon Hu Lachem which means Hashem Bezrat Hashem will fulfill his name, will fulfill also the chariot of Hashem. And by this, Bezrat Hashem, by Yom Ahu, Yeh Hashem Echad, Ushmo Echad. How does, which means it says, Zechariah the Prophet, of, uh, chapter 14, verse 9, he says that that day, by Yom Ahu, which means by Yom Ahu, and the name of Hashem will be filled. You see, the same who. The name of Hashem and the chariot of Hashem will be filled. Then the name of Hashem Yechad Ushmo Echad. Why? Because what's the difference between Mashiach and Moshe? And Moshe Rabbeinu? 
the death, which means there will be unity with all of the souls of the children of Israel. And when we are united also, all of the nations will have peace. So we have Mashiach and we have Moshe. Men from Mashiach, Mem is 40, Shin is 300, Yud is 10, Chet is 8, it's 358. Moshe Rabbeinu, Mem is 40, Shin is 300, He is 5, it's 345. Let's subtract 348, uh, 358 from 345, how much is it? 13. It's 13. Yudim midot that the 13 attributes of mercy, kerachum bechanun, erech hafai, marchesed beemek, what is one? Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem, Echad. This is when we are united. Echad is one. One. Aleph is one, Chet is eight, Dalet is four, it's 13. What is one? When we practice love, ahava, love, ahava, Aleph is one, he is five, Bet is two, another he is five, it's thirteen. Bezrat Hashem, and we will be united and love each other. That chariot of Hashem will be filled. Amalek won't be here anymore. Not, in, not among us, not among the nations. And, Vayom Ahu Yashem Echad I love you all. Let's bless Bezrat Hashem that we will all have the school to greet Mashiach Tzidkan Vachamim Ruin Bim Rabi Amin Amen Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Nishbila Gladi Bim Rabi Nishbila Gladi Bim Rabi Nishbila Gladi Bim Rabi This shiru was Leilu Nishmat also Zilpa Zilpa Zina Bat Mazal Alea Shalom Tishuka Tzora Bitzora Chaim And Besiyat Adishmei Achenu Kol Bet Yisrael Nitunim Batzara Vashvi Amdim Ben Bayam Ben Bayabasha Makom Yerachem Alein Vyasem Mitzara Lirvacha Ma'afela Lora Vashibut Lekula Hashta Ba'ag Lav Zman Karib Yimru Amen And Be'ezrat Hashem Al Olam Yiperdadan Nechabro Begar Lachai Yachid Barabim Alachai Amen